welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another video and I'm here to show you guys today how I clean my makeup brushes because I always get questions about how I clean my makeup brushes, how I clean my sponges, and I never talk about it. So I think that it's finally time that I show you guys how I do it. Um, I still have not washed my brushes from the last time that I freelanced, which is kind of gross, but I haven't been using them. They've just been sitting in the roll that I took them in with me when I traveled. So I need to get to cleaning those. So I figured now is a perfect time more than ever because I need to clean my brushes anyway and I might as well show you guys now that I'm actually active on YouTube. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I clean my makeup brushes, then please keep on watching. All right guys, so here's what the setup looks like. I'm in my restroom right now and so far I just have a towel down, I have my brush mat down, and I have all of the stuff I'm gonna wash. So these aren't all of my brushes, they're just the ones that are currently dirty. So when it comes to washing my brushes, I'm very lazy and I tend not to do it until um, all of them are dirty, but currently only this many are dirty. Um, it's kind of a lot because I did pink eyeshadow for like a week straight, so all of my brushes have pink eyeshadow all over them, and then I never really wash my sponges, like once I use one and get it dirty, I'll just go on to a new one. Um, but yeah, I got this Sigma little mini brush mat, and Sigma sent me this. And so for soap, I like to use dish soap. A lot of people like to use brush cleansers or like bar soap, but I find that dish soap gets them like the cleanest, the fastest, and I use the palm olive one. Please don't come for me. If this doesn't work for you, then it doesn't work for you, but it works for me and it doesn't dry out my brushes. It leaves them pretty soft and they don't get ruined. So I've been using this method for a long, long time, literally years now. So I hope my technique works for you and I hope you can learn something. So let's get into it. As you can see, this brush has foundation all over it. So I like to wet the mat first. Oh, and a tip, you're always gonna want something to dry your hands with as well. What I'll do next is I'll take the dish soap and I'll just put it in the little spot that I need um, to clean the brush. And I'll put like enough for a few brushes to be washed. So then I wet the brush. And I really only use this side of the brush mat because this doesn't really do much for my brushes and I like just really don't use this part right here actually but I use this side the most because it has little crosses and it helps get in between all the bristles. I just go in circles and I kind of just work out all the product until I see that the soap is completely um, or almost completely saturated in whatever was in my brush. And then, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I feel like my hand's in the way, isn't it? So then once I have that brush like kind of completely scrubbed, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out. And I like to rinse them facing down, that way all the water can drip out and I reduce the chance of getting water inside the handle. And as I'm rinsing, I like to kind of just move through the bristles like this. That way I can get all the makeup out of it or whatever water is out of it. And it also helps wring it out um, a lot quicker. Now, if by then the brush is still not clean, I'll take a little bit more soap onto the wet pad. And then I'll just continue scrubbing it until it is coming out clean. And usually I know the brush is clean when the soap bubbles are no longer the color of the product on the brush or if the soap bubbles on the brush are white like this one and you can help get extra product out by squeezing at the base of the brush and kind of pushing some of the product forward but if your brushes are a cheaper quality and the glue is just not um, holding up you do risk pulling out the bristles but that's something you could decide to do. So my brush is pretty much completely clean. I'm gonna just bring it out and then it will be done. So I like to squeeze all the water out of it and it's gonna look like this. So I'll just take it over here onto the towel and I'll kind of pat each side dry and then I'll place it 
and I start lining up the brushes until I'm finished washing them. So I do that with every single brush and I usually like to get the complexion brushes out of the way so that I just have the littler brushes to do afterward because I feel like those are more fun to do. So again, just wetting it and depending on the density of the brush, um, I use different parts of the mat. If it's a bigger brush, I like to use this part right here because it's the most broken up and gets in the bristles the best. And if there's not much product on the brush like this, I'll just take another brush, wet it really quick, and then I'll go with the same soap from that previous brush. And then just scrub out whatever's on the next brush. And I like to do this because it saves a little bit of soap and you can also reduce the amount of time that you're cleaning for because it takes less time when you don't have to be constantly re, um, distributing the soap onto the mat. So I go in swirl motions. Don't want to be too harsh on them. So I first allow the water to run through them and then I wring them out and I just repeat that process until there's no more soap coming out of the brush when I squeeze it like this. And if there's still soap coming out, then it means it's obviously not completely rinsed out. And it's always good to just keep up with washing your brushes because if your brushes are dirty, they could contribute to breakouts and we obviously don't want that. Now with the smaller brushes, since there's not as many bristles and there's not as much brush to wash, it's easier to just go in with straight soap and you don't have to rinse the brush. Whereas with the bigger brushes, like complexion brushes, you have to rinse before going to the soap. But since these are so small, it's really easy to just go in directly. So like I said, I make use of the soap as much as possible before rinsing it down. And I'm just grabbing a few um, different eyeshadow brushes, going back over this. And while I'm doing this, I don't know for sure that these brushes are completely clean, but I'm just giving them a quick scrub and then I can go back and clean them if I need to. to mention that but warm water um, helps kill the bacteria without drying out the bristles it doesn't work as well as hot water would but works better than cold <laughs> up the rest of my brushes and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I wash my sponges. <laughs> One hour later. Okay, so now I'm done with my brushes. We're gonna move on to sponges. And before I wash my sponge at all, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out and completely saturate it with water. So now once I've done that, I'll just take a little bit of soap onto the ball part of the brush mat, like right here, the little bouncy part. And I'm gonna take the sponge and kind of just 
swirl it around in that section of the pad and maybe even over here. So I'm just trying to get the surface makeup out of here right now. And usually once this part has soap all over it, I'll just go in and rinse. And as I'm rinsing, I'm squeezing and pushing the product out of the sponge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go around and I'm kind of squeezing. I don't know if you can see, but I'm squeezing and squeezing. Now, don't worry if not all of the makeup comes out of your sponge because um, sometimes they just stain and they're not gonna come out. Like these spots most likely will not come out. And this is a new sponge, so I know for a fact it's not mold. Just gonna squeeze up all the soap and kind of massage it around. And as you can see, squeezing it kind of brought up some more of that makeup. So it really makes you it really makes you think how much product is really in your sponge. It's crazy. It kind of takes a lot to completely rinse these out because the soap really just gets absorbed into them. So this honestly is crazy how much of a difference it makes. My beauty blender is a little bit softer than the rest of the sponges I have. I like to just roll it around onto the mat and then I'll take my hands, kind of like I'm washing them, and just run the sponge backwards and forwards a couple times. Okay, so that's it. All my brushes are clean and I can finally sit down and chill out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know what videos you are wanting to see down below and I can go ahead and film those for you guys. But yeah, other than that, I'll see you in my next video and I love you. Bye.